The end line is to Hyundai what AMG is to Mercedes or M performance is to BMW. Well, sort of. And Hyundai recently launched its first ever N model in India, the i20 N line. Now, my colleague Shubham brought you the first look of the car, and Siddharth further explained the significance of the N line coming to India on the Car and Bike Show. Both videos are up on a YouTube channel, and you can always go and watch it. The link is in the descriptor box below. And now, we are here in this gorgeous city of Udaipur to test drive the all-new Hyundai i20 N line. Now, we are here to put it through its paces, test drive it really hard, and see how different a character this car has to the regular i20. Right, I'm straight away seated, belted, and off the mark. I mean, the performance is the key USP here, so that's where we begin. The i20 N-Line trim is offered only with the top-spec 1-litre turbocharged petrol engine with either the IMT unit or the 7-speed DCT unit which you get on the regular i20 as well. Of course, there are a few significant mechanical differences between the standard i20 and the N-Line. And the first and foremost is the suspension, which Hyundai says on the i20 N-Line it has been made up to 30% stiffer. Now there is a perceptible difference when you drive the car and it is more pronounced when you are driving the car around a corner. When you chuck the car into a corner like this, you get more confidence, the grip is better and the car holds its lines really really well and that gives you the confidence to go faster. Then. Hyundai also says that the steering has been slightly reconfigured to offer more weight at higher speeds and a better center feel. After spending a few hours with the car, we would say that there isn't a world of a difference between how the steering feels on the standard car and how it feels on the N-Line. But that sense of added weight offers a touch better feel when you chuck the car hard into a corner. Further bolstering the sporty credentials, the i20 N-Line gets disc brake on all four wheels, along with paddle shifts and a throatier, richer exhaust note. Now, the paddle shifts, they definitely make your driving experience much more engaging, much more fun. And uh, four disc brakes, that means the bite is much more potent and the stopping power has been increased. Although there is still that slight spongy feel which hasn't completely gone away. And as far as the exhaust note is concerned, between the 10 lakh to 15 lakh bracket, I think this is one of the better sounding cars. It is really. The 1 litre turbo petrol motor makes 118 brake horsepower at 6000 rpm with peak torque output of 172 Nm coming in between 1500 to 4000 rpm. Our experience with the i20 suggests that the engine is sporty, has that go fast vibe that you are looking for. The initial response from the DCT is a bit dull, but once you put the car into sport mode, things start looking better. Of course, Sport mode here means that you start shifting gears manually. So we told you how it drives and how it handles. But how does it do when you drive it sedately in the city and over broken roads? You are going to feel the undulations inside the cabin. On smooth tarmac, the car seems to glide. But bad roads are likely to be a problem. Features list is identical to the standard i20 Turbo's range topping Astra trim with creature comforts like the 10.25 inch touchscreen infotainment system that supports Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Blue Link technology with over 58 connected features, Bose surround sound system, wireless charging, auto climate control, 
cruise control and ambient lighting among others. Hyundai also offers 16 free of charge over the air updates for maps. In terms of safety, the car gets 6 airbags, reverse parking camera, tire pressure monitoring system, electronic stability control, vehicle stability management and hill assist. Apart from its dynamics, the i20 N-Line also gets significant design updates. There's a different, sharper bumper up front, gloss black elements, the N-Line logo and a checkered flag pattern for the front grille. Sleek. The red accents strewn all around the car, a sexier bumper at the rear with a pronounced diffuser, twin pipe exhaust and a spoiler along with new colour schemes add that delectable sporty flavour. And of course, you have those cool looking 16 inch alloys with red grey calipers up front. The interior too sees a lovely blend of all black, peppered with splashes of red, leather wrapped gear knob, end line badges on the seats, aluminium pedals, and the works. Quite likeable indeed. There are three variants of the i20 N line on sale the N6 IMT. N8 IMT and the N8 DCT. Prices start at 9,84,000 rupees and go up to 11,75,000 rupees for these three models. There is a premium of about 52,000 for the N8 models over the Astra trim of the standard i20. Its biggest rival currently is the Volkswagen Polo, a car which is over 10 years old but still packs a solid punch in terms of performance. Prices for the Polo with a 1 litre TSI engine start at 7,70,000 rupees and go up to 9,99,000 rupees with a total of 7 variants on offer, making it more significantly affordable than the i20 N line. If you have the budget and there's a hint of a driving enthusiast in you, the i20 N line promises to deliver a better, more engaging, a richer driving experience. Exclusivity, a throatier exhaust note and good driving performance are guaranteed. Else, the standard i20 does the job equally well.